Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today I'm going to be sharing with you the comments that I've received in the past few days or weeks. Some of them are very frequently asked questions and if you do have any questions make sure that you hit the little I up in the corner just to find out you know uh, for for someone who wants a concise video that is more organized, that video is actually going to help you out way more than this one. But for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I just wanted to go ahead and answer questions here because it is much, much faster than typing responses. So I hope that this video finds you well and you're having a wonderful day. Uh, this particular video, I'm going to go ahead and put into time lapse uh, or put over a time lapse because right now I'm sitting in the chaos of my craft room from my last floss tube video. I'm still organizing everything that I got. Uh, so if you haven't checked out my cross stitching videos, I do put them up on Saturdays, but for the time being anyway. Um, but let's just get right into it. These are going to be me answering questions and comments from you. Uh, so if you haven't received a response from me, it's probably in this video. Let's get started. Okay. Megan Patras. I'm so sorry if I, if I mispronounce your names. Please bear with me. I have a couple of questions for you as I'm still fairly new to diamond painting, she says. One, are the ones off wish better or worse than if I bought from a store and have you had any damage from transportation? Okay, uh, so that's, there's two questions there. Um, are the are the ones off wish better or worse than if I bought them from a store? My experience with diamond paintings from wish has been hit or miss. So as long as you are prepared, um, there are lots and lots of videos of people reacting to uh, their items that come in from Wish. And let's just say they're very popular for a reason. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money, but I would highly recommend that you check out my Wish videos here on my channel if you're interested to see what kind of diamond paintings I've received from Wish. But I'd highly recommend that you buy from a legitimate store that actually pays their artists for the artwork that they've made. Uh, because all of the images that are on there, or a ma vast majority of them, are going to be ripped from the artist and the artist sees no money from that whatsoever. So I highly recommend supporting your artists and I will only buy from stores that support artists in the future. If you haven't seen it already, I do have my top recommended diamond painting store video, which I will link in the cards above as well. Uh, and if you're wondering what all that means, there is a little information button at the top. If you hover your finger or if you click on your device, you'll see a little eye in the top right corner. If you click on that, it'll bring down all of the videos that I've just mentioned when I tell you to go look it up in there. Uh, so after the video is over, if any of those videos sound like they might be for you, please click on that little I button and then click on the video that you'd like to see. I'd really appreciate it because there is a lot of stuff that I've covered before. And for those of you who have been with me for a really long time, you know, I really, I don't like to repeat myself all the time, uh, but I want to educate everybody. So Okay. Have you had any damage from transportation? Yes, many times, several times. It happens all the time, uh, which is another reason why I have that video, the top recommended store video, because those stores package really well. There are some stores on places like AliExpress, but I will not recommend them um, that do that as well. Okay, next up. Let's have a look. This one comes from Ziba Khan. She says she really needs some help. She's totally new to this and bought paintings last year. But after she started watching the videos, she wanted to, to get them out and start, start diamond painting, which is awesome. Um, she says, I started just now and some of my tiles, I'm guessing you mean the diamonds or the drills, the tiles are flat at the top and some have the cut edges all the way around. Do I use both or leave out the ones that have a flat top? I mean, some of these beads are round too. I'm confused. Do I 
use all of them or have I been ripped off? Okay, see, but there are there are two different facets that you'll find, especially on square drills, it's much more noticeable, but the diamonds are cut differently so that they reflect the shine and sparkle better. If all of the diamonds were cut exactly the same, then you would get a shimmer effect and instead of that brilliant sparkle that everybody wants. So when when you see the two different types, it's perfectly fine. That is exactly what you're looking for. Uh, if you really need to, you know, if you're really, really worried and something seems super abnormal about it, like as in their different shapes and stuff, then you might want to contact the manufacturer of the diamond painting. But otherwise, yes, they they have different shapes for a reason and they look different just to, to sparkle more. Phyllis asked me on one of my older Whip and Chat videos, uh, she asked me about the pen that I was using in the video. It's actually a pen that I sell in my own Etsy shop. Yes, it is temporarily closed. It is on vacation at the moment because I cannot ship to all the countries that I used to ship to before. So I've been waiting for restrictions to lift in order to open my Etsy shop back up. I do have plenty of pens in stock. And once I'm reopened, I will absolutely make a video on YouTube to announce it and show everybody what I have for sale. But until those restrictions are lifted, until the mail system is moving again, I cannot open that, sh that shop. It just would not be fair. I'm not able to ship to countries like France, Thailand, or the United States. So just bear with me until these things are over, or at least until we've gotten to the stage where I can feasibly start selling again. I will be on vacation on my Etsy store. So thank you for understanding, Phyllis. I appreciate it. Raylana Hanley asked, where do you get your diamond paintings from? Please, please, please watch my top recommended diamond painting store video, which I have linked there. I'll also link it down in the description below in case you're having technical difficulties. I have outlined all of the top 10 stores that I purchase from and then I recommend that you buy from. If you're curious about where I personally buy from, but there are lots and lots of stores out there. But like I said, not all of them care about copyright or artist rights, so I do not purchase from them. Sharon Swain asks, how do you get diamond art clubs before they come out? I'm just wondering. Sharon, and to anybody else who's wondering, I get diamond art club sneak peeks sometimes to share with everybody on my channel. You could think of it as a form of advertising. They do send it to me for free. Sometimes I get a choice on which one I get and sometimes I don't, but that's up to their discretion. I appreciate that Diamond Art Club does sometimes give sneak peeks to YouTubers and I do appreciate that they send them to me sometimes too. So not all the time, but sometimes and that is how I get them. Carrie W asks, I love that picture behind you in my floss tube and here behind me in my in my office. Is it a painting or diamond painting? If a diamond painting, where did you get it? It's beautiful. That diamond painting, it is a diamond painting, I got it from a website that I care not to name. If you're looking on my channel, you can see in my post review section on here, I have a whole playlist of diamond paintings that I've finished and I talk all about them. Uh, that one came from a store that I do not recommend. It was such a labor of love that I had to seal that diamond painting. And no, I do not seal my diamond paintings unless I must. And when I do, I use aqua glue. Again, you can check out my how to diamond paint playlist if you're interested in those sorts of technical things that I do. But I don't recommend it. That is actually an artist's work that they were not paid for. Marianne Bloom is her name. Marlena Edmondson asked on my spring 2020 stash video, what do you do with all the drills for these? I keep all of mine in the shipping bag just in case I need more drills. Am I doing it wrong? What I do with my diamond painting drills is if the kit came in like a flimsy box or bag, like a shipping bag. Um, I actually have all of those drills in under the bed boxes. So you know those um, plastic, 
tubs that you can slide under a bed. Um, I have them stacked up here in my office just under my vanity because we, we're, we're a bit, you know, the storage is everything, right? Um, so I take them out of that box or bag and I label them with the picture and I use words where I could easily identify either, you know, uh, say for example, cherry blossom and then diamond art club. Actually, side note, I keep all of my diamond art clubs in their boxes and I put them up in my closet with a uh, mom. Thank you so much. She bought me one of those label makers, you know, those electronic label makers. And so I make a label, I put it on the side of the box and then I stack them up. Um, side by side. So that's how that's how I do that. But if if I can't do that under the bed boxes, label them, put a put a post it note inside of the bag, and wrap it up and stick it in there and you're good as gold. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie asked on my floss tube, uh, you have quite the glow about you today. Should we be expecting big news? No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, but thank you. I appreciate it. Denise Patello asks, I'm looking for the video on framing by wrapping over canvas. I'll go ahead and I'll link it here. It's just up in the eye. Uh, so I did stretch and I showed how I stretched a diamond painting over these stretcher bars. Um, and I've also made a video on how to wrap a diamond painting over an existing canvas. Uh, that was Nightbringer and Worlds Away, respectively. Um, so I'll make sure that I link those down below. And I'll link the uh, stretched canvas framing video in the eye. But if you're ever looking for anything technical like that, please, please, please check out the How to Diamond Paint playlist because I will put them all together there uh, for all of those all of those questions on how to diamond paint. Travel Anna, on my sneak peek video from last week, asks, can I ask where you bought that and the size of the first one and prices? Um, Anna, I have the link to that diamond painting in the description of the video and on the website, it has all of those details. So if you're ever curious, if I don't say those kinds of things, if you click the link, it'll send it right there. Sometimes in the past when I've said, the price, it turns out that that price changes. And so I don't like to talk about prices on my on my YouTube channel. Sometimes I'll put in a screenshot or something, but more often than not, sometimes I forget little things like that. So please forgive me. Um, just click on the link and it'll take you right there. Barbara G 7211 asked, um, hi, I just started diamond painting. Can you tell me the difference between square and round? Uh, Square and round are just different shapes of the diamonds themselves. Um, the round drills are typically 2.8 millimeters in diameter, while the squares are smaller at 2.5 millimeters. Uh, and the effect that they have can be different. So uh, for for instance, the I have a whole uh, video on this actually um, on my channel where I show you the difference between a round drill painting and a square drill painting. And uh, I would highly recommend that you check out that video. But basically, uh, I believe that squares look better. They look more uh, uniform and together. But at the same time, some people find that square drill paintings are more difficult to do. Uh, I personally don't think that. I like square best. But round drill is actually really, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a it's like a brain break <laughs> um, for me, but I like the challenge of a square. So those are the differences between the two. It's just the shape and the size, uh, but in the way that the picture, the final picture comes out. I hope that helps. Feline54 is asking, is Diamond Art Club in the US? I wonder how long it took for you to get this package. Diamond Art Club is based in the United States. They have all of their diamond paintings sent to their warehouse in the US and then they ship from there, which is why if you are not in the United States, the shipping price may be more expensive than you're used to for other diamond painting companies that ship from China because China has a uh, trade agreements and things like that, they're able to ship for cheap or free. So um, 
And as for that, I wonder how long it took for you to get this package. Uh, that particular package took me, I think it took about two or two, two and a half to three weeks for that particular package to come. Because of all of the problems with shipping at the moment because of the pandemic, it is taking a lot longer for packages to get to you no matter where they're coming from. So even if you're in the United States, those packages are probably getting delayed. So please be patient uh, and please try to understand because I know that everybody who is new to the craft is not used to uh, going to the Diamond Art Club website and seeing uh, out of stock of everything. Uh, but before, I promise you, before this pandemic happened, that store was always pretty much fully stocked unless there was seriously popular paintings that people were constantly buying. Uh, but this, this pandemic has thrown a wrench into everything. So hopefully you can understand. Uh, and trust me, it will, we will phase out of this eventually. So uh, let's just try to be positive and patient and put our big girl pants on and just, just wait it out. Alemi asks, hi, what's the best shop for custom diamond paintings? Okay, so um, I do get this a lot and uh, I, <laughs> I try to answer as concisely as possible. If you're looking for a custom diamond painting where you need help, to have that image modified or you're worried, like for example, if you've got a picture of a person where there are faces involved, I highly recommend going to Treasure Studios Art. There is the person who runs the company, treasurestudiosart.com, her name is Rachel, and she is a graphic designer by trade. She will be able to take your picture and enhance it so that the final product will look better than if you say just sent your picture to any old company. They are a little bit more expensive, but I think that it's worth it for that service. I got a custom from her and it's beautiful. It's of my old dog Ginger who now lives with my grandparents. And I really like that she gave me four different options to choose from and showed me what those final effects were going to look like. She did mock-ups as we like to call them. So you've got Treasure Studios Art. There's also Diamond Shop where they do the same thing. Reggie from Diamond Shop will help you to make the picture look the best that it can and then and make sure that you know exactly what you are going to get. You can go back and forth with them and then you can have the diamond painting that you really want. The bonuses of purchasing with Diamond Shop is that once your order is shipped, it is sent FedEx Express and it will get to you in about four or five days, which is great, especially if you're, uh, you know, um, I don't know, on the more impatient end. But just be aware that both of these stores, when you put in a custom order, it's going to take a little longer to process. So you may be waiting weeks in order for that diamond painting to be made at the moment because of what's happening in the world. Normally, this would not happen. Hopefully, we'll go back to to normal soon. Uh, another option that I would highly recommend uh, if you want to go the AliExpress route, which again, I do not recommend, it's possible that stores will take, <laughs> will like your image so much that they will turn it into a diamond painting and sell it for profit, uh, which is totally illegal, but they do it anyway because that doesn't matter in China. Uh, <laughs> if you're not worried about that though, uh, and you're looking for a less expensive option, you've got Evermoment, which I highly, highly recommend for custom paintings. And there's the Logan store on AliExpress, which I have had a custom made uh, and it turned out fine. It turned out great. Uh, Heike is working on it right now. Stone Cold Coffee Crafts here on YouTube. And then there is also Hankins, which I've heard really good things about, but I personally do not have Hankins. So best custom shops for diamond painting. There you go. Caroline Gonzalez asks, do you think you will use the drills again? Every painting has new drills. I've kept mine. Yes, I have had to reach into my drill storage or drill stash, uh, the leftover diamonds that I keep. And if you're wondering about how I keep leftover diamonds, that is also in the How to Diamond Paint playlist. Excuse me, say that five times fast. Uh, 
I have dug into my spare drills in order to help me complete a painting because I've run out of diamonds. And that happened just recently as well. So yes, I will use the drills again. And if I feel that I won't, or if I, if I go uh, to my, you know, any diamond painting group that I'm in, if somebody's like, oh, do you have spare diamonds in this color? I always check my drill storage, my extra drills. And if I do, and if I can send them to them, I pay the, for pay it forward, send it on. I'd highly recommend that. There's a Facebook group called Got Diamonds, and there's a UK group, Got Diamonds UK, Check them out if you're on Facebook because you can get spares and you can give spares and we all need to pay it forward in this world. So please, if you are saving your diamonds, but you don't know what to do with them or they're, they're piling up, those are great way, great ways to get rid of those diamonds as well. And she also asked on another video, you said bigger is better for detail. What size do you re recommend? I'm a beginner. Caroline, um, it depends on the type of picture that it is. So there are a lot of, <laughs> there are a lot of factors and there are a lot of YouTubers here who have made videos on this subject. And I feel like, um, Tiny Worlds of Wonder did a wonderful job. Jessica at Tiny Worlds of Wonder, check her out, uh, check out her channel and her playlists as well, because, and there, like I said, there's lots of them. So please, if you're a creator, please don't get offended. I don't mean to, to exclude anyone, but, um, if you're looking to see, you know, which diamond painting, what size should I get for this picture? Um, she has a video on it that's very, very concise. Uh, Heike at Stone Cold Coffee Crafts had a, had a video on it. I think Mrs. Crochet and Coffee has a video on it. What I do personally is I take that image and I put it into pixel stitch, pixel hyphen stitch dot net. That's the website. It's a cross stitch calculator website where you take your picture, you put it in, you say what size you would like it to be in stitches, uh, and then it shows you what detail you will get and what size it will be in the end. Um, now, there are a few caveats with that that you need to take in consideration. For example, if it says that this image that I've rendered is now a 22.7 by uh, 37.8, I would, I would actually just go up the next size. So uh, just round up to the next size and it'll allow you to, to get the best detail for the diamond painting. Just be aware that it's not perfect, but it is a great tool to use if you're confused at all and you have no idea where to go. Uh, there's a lot of math involved, which is why I haven't made a video. My brain does not work that way. I go on... Um, I just go in approximations and it's always worked out well for me. But like I said, go check out YouTube, just type it in, you know, custom diamond painting or how to size diamond painting in the search bar. And I'm sure you'll find lots of videos on it that are better than I could possibly explain. Eric M. Reese asks, how can you tell from the key guide which ones are AB diamonds? Okay, this is specifically for Diamond Art Club and not for other companies. Diamond Art Club uses the DMC numbers under number 150 to indicate an Aurora Borealis diamond. And if you're wondering what Aurora Borealis stands for, it is a diamond that has a shiny iridescent coating on the top so that it sparkles even more. So it's got that undertone of whatever color, uh, let's say, for example, 740, and then they put on an iridescent coating on top of that, and then they call it a different number to differentiate between a normal DMC color diamond and this different AB drill. So I hope that makes sense. It, you know, I, I don't know what number 740 as AB is off the top of my head, but that's how they differentiate between that. So then when you go to store your extra diamonds, if you save your diamond art clubs, then every Diamond Art Club that is number 135 or 127 or whatever it might be, uh, you can keep them together and they're exactly the same shade of AB Diamond. But if you have a canvas that is not from Diamond Art Club or 
If you've purchased from, say, uh, dpwithsparklers.com from Tima, um, then you may have to store them separately. Uh, they will be marked with, say, the DMC number. Or if you buy from a different company, it might be a whole different number altogether. These are just the ways that those individual cost, those individual companies are labeling their diamond painting drills. I hope that makes sense. Victoria R. wants to know, besides storing the drills, is there anything else you can use them for? Absolutely, 100%. You could use them to bling up any, you know, items you might have around the house. Let's say uh, I've heard that people put them on rocks or on tumblers. You could put them, on, you could glue them to anything, really, if you wanted to. You could make your own diamond painting. You could take a cross-stitch chart and a blank diamond painting canvas and make, you know, use a cross stitching chart to, to, to bring it to life. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the one that I'm thinking of just off the top of my head, um, Stitcherista has done it. Uh, who else has done it? Four Kids of 147 has done it. There's been a lot of creators who have gotten a heaven and earth designs cross stitch pattern, and then they have gotten a blank canvas and then they're drills, they, they either purchase the drills or they use their leftover drills and they diamond paint an image based on a cross stitching chart. I personally have not done that, but I would love to do it, but I just have enough, I have enough diamond paintings here that already have the grid and the symbols on it. And, uh, and I won't go down that avenue for quite a while yet, I think. But those are some ideas. There's loads and loads of, of ideas and I'd love to make a video on it someday. Pam Moynette asks, are you supposed to flatten the canvas before applying the drills? I did put books on it for several days and that helped a lot, but I didn't want to start it right away without trying to flatten it as much as, it, as I could. What are the suggestions on this? Yes, I think that is a good idea to flatten your canvas first. However, I have worked on Diamond Art Club paintings where I have, because they were so long, I had the end rolled up as I was working. And then as I completed it, I pushed it away from me and kept drilling and just unrolling as I went. The diamonds are going to help weigh down that diamond painting. Um, but if you're using any other canvas, like a double-sided adhesive canvas, for instance, yes, you want it absolutely flat. You want to make sure there's no air bubbles underneath the the adhesive, the, you know, that film, that, that double-sided tape. Make sure there's no air bubbles or creases in the, in the tape um, before you start diamond painting. Um, so I hope that, I hope that makes sense. But with diamond art clubs, I've, I've had them rolled up. I've flattened them out before it, uh, they're pretty forgiving because of the type of canvas material that they're printed on. Jill Lindsay asked diamond art club sneak peek video. She asked, does the general public ever get a chance to get the gen to get the new releases or do you have to be a diamond or Ruby member? Jill, they actually do. Uh, if you check out their posts on Instagram and Facebook, before they release, they they put up the pictures that they're releasing for the weekend, they advertise that, and then they say there that it opens for a 30 minute window lately uh, for Diamond and Ruby Club members, and then they open at half past the hour for general release and they hold back a certain number of diamond paintings from all of those new releases for the general public. So if you're not a Ruby or diamond member, yes, you do have a chance, but you have to be on it. Uh, lately, those diamond paintings have sold out in less than less than 10 minutes, uh, less than five minutes in some cases. So you, my advice to you would be if you aren't a Ruby, but even if you are a Ruby and diamond member, uh, make sure that you are logged into your Diamond Art Club account. Please try to do this on a computer and not on a device. Um, if you are planning to use, say, a gift card or a uh, discount code, I would recommend that you find something that's in stock, stick it in your cart, uh, enter in that code, and then when the new release comes, pop that into your cart, take out the other one or just keep it in there and buy it anyway, and then check out. Uh, that way you're eliminating a bunch of steps before, before those releases come out. Um, that's just 
me talking. You can do whatever you like, but anything that will make it quicker and get you those diamond paintings. Janet asked, Janet Hunter asked, there was an ad for diamond art gifts that played during your video. Do you know anything about this company? Now I already answered her by text, but I want to put it out there that YouTube actually chooses the ads. The creator has no control. At least I don't at this level. Maybe you do when you get like way up there, but I don't have any, any choice about the companies that show up, the advertisement companies, I have no control over that. I have no idea what's going to pop up for you. Um, I have seen some really weird ads um, pop up when I'm watching other YouTube videos. Um, most of them don't even relate to the video, which is silly. But anyway, I just want to let you know that no, I don't have any control over what I what you see. Uh, no, I, I looked at Diamond Art Gifts and I said, um, I had a look and they are yet another Shopify site that's very new. So be weary. I would highly recommend again that you stay away from these pop-up shops. There are a lot of shops that uh, will try to uh, feed into your emotions where it says we're having a closing out sale and everything must go. That's a marketing tactic. Be aware that they all they want, they're, they're not necessarily going out of business at all. They they want your money. And a lot of these sites will say diamond paintings free of charge, just pay shipping. And then when you go to check out, you see that the shipping is like $15 on a 20 by 30 centimeter painting. No, don't do it. It's possible. It's, it's possible that some of these sites would try to use your information later on. I don't know. Uh, I would be totally weary of them and only buy from reputable sellers. I have a lot more questions on that sneak peek video, which I would just like to address. Cheryl Katz asked, um, will they come back? Will will these pick these paintings that have gone out of stock come back? Yes, they will be restocked. I highly recommend that you put in your email address to be notified when those diamond paintings come back into stock. If you are, say it's payday and you want a diamond painting, go check the website, stock that website. Uh, if you're really addicted to diamond painting, maybe try to set aside a bit of money so that you're prepared when those diamond painting releases happen. Um, because I have seen a lot of people say, you know, oh, I, I wish I wish this would happen on another week because I'm broke. Well, unfortunately, that's just I suppose that's the way that it is sometimes is that, you know, we might not be in a in a good financial situation to or, you know, we might not be in the best financial uh, place <laughs> to spend money on crafts and crafts don't come first. You know, we need to remember the priorities. Um, you need to take care of, you need to feed yourself and make sure that your rent is paid and your bills are paid. And then if you have some things, some money left over, then spend them on diamond painting. But um, I know that a lot of people have said, you know, I'm jealous and, you know, I wish I had your stash and all of these things. And I just like to say that I didn't build the stash overnight. It's been years and I, the reason that I have the stash that I do and the reason that I have all of the diamond paintings that I do is thanks to my viewers for watching my channel and helping me grow. And I use the money that I make from YouTube to be able to bring you more information and more content. I'm not trying to tell you to buy everything. I hope that you understand the difference um, as, as someone who is working with and working on YouTube, I want to give you the best information that I can. And in order for me to do that, sometimes I have to buy a lot of things. Um, and not everyone is in a position to do that. And I feel really, really blessed and really, really grateful that right now in this time in my life, I can do that and I can pay the bills. I know and appreciate that not everyone is the same, but I hope that you can understand that it's not me trying to flaunt. It's just me trying to have everything available to everyone. The information is there for people to find and to access and to use to make better shopping decisions. That's why I have so much stuff. So, and I do give it away. So um, just, just putting it out there, please make, make 
good financial choices is what I'm trying to ask. <laughs> um, they also, there were, um, May asked, May Farjardo uh, asked me, um, do you know the price of the Mother Earth kit? Um, it's on the website now, uh, but when I'm given the sneak peek, no. I don't know the price of that kit when I'm given a sneak peek. Not until it releases. Marla Delaney asked me, um, I'm just start starting out doing this. Uh, should I do a little one or a larger one? What's your opinion? Um, I would say that if you're just starting out, maybe you want to start a small one. Uh, maybe something with the, you know, a picture where the main subject is very close to the to the viewer's eye. So in that case, you know, say, for instance, um, if you want to do a diamond painting of a dog or something like that, just make sure that it's zoomed all the way in. Um, you want you want the best quality for that size that you can get. If you pick something that is busy or that is meant to be very large uh, as a small painting, then it will not look good. But that being said, if you purchase a diamond painting that is large as your first diamond painting, that's okay too. Uh, every diamond painting is done at the exact same speed. So you will get it done eventually. But if you're the kind of person that needs that feeling of accomplishment and you don't want to feel slogged or bogged down or or something like that, then you might want to pick a smaller one. Maybe pick one of those small crystal kits to get started or make one for a family member or a friend first. Her second question is, do I do square or round? Uh, whichever one that you would like. Uh, I highly recommend starting a round first uh, because you'll find out whether you like diamond painting or not based on on that kit. If you don't like, you know, doing the same thing over and over again, if your brain doesn't find that relaxing, then you won't, uh, you won't want to continue. But if you um, do like it, then definitely try a square as well. Squares do take a bit more concentration because the drills have to line up, but it's not necessarily a bad thing if you've ordered your first diamond painting as a square. Don't be afraid of it. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> and then her third question is, uh, what company do you recommend? Again, I have a whole video on all of the companies that I recommend. I have a list of 10 of them in that video. Please, please, please have a look. Have a look at the FAQ video and the How to Diamond Paint playlist. Goosey Lucy asks, I love your live stream yesterday. When are you going to do another? Um, Goosey Lucy, I only go live every once in a while uh, on my channel. And the reason for that is that there are so many people uh, who come into the live and are chatting, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So at the moment, I only go live every once in a while. And I try to give a few days notice so that everybody is prepared and, you know, that they have the opportunity to set that a reminder on YouTube. There is a, an option to do that. Um, and if you, if you have the bell uh, clicked on my channel, the notification bell, if you click on that and then go to all, it will announce to you when I've made a post on my channel in the community tab or, you know, when I'm going to go live or whenever a video uploads on my channel. So those are great ways to to know when I'm about to go live. I tr Like I said, I try to, to let everyone know in advance. But if you are looking for more live streams with me uh, and you're interested, small plug here, I have a Patreon account. So if you go under this video in the description box, there is a link there for Patreon. That is where you can support your favorite creators by giving a kind of a monetary donation. It's a monthly payment, not a weekly payment. Uh, and for my particular Patreon is set up so that you pay what you can. It's not set up with tiers like a lot of other creators where you have to pay a certain amount in order to get these benefits. Um, I would just like for anyone who's interested in doing that to get access to behind the scenes footage, to get uh, pictures and the weekly lineup and 
special videos that are made for you and also access to the Patreon only live streams, go join my Patreon account. Pay what you can. Think of it as like a little tip in the tip jar or buy me a coffee or a lunch or a dinner once a month. Uh, it's linked down below. If you don't want to join my Patreon, that's perfectly fine. I totally understand. Not everybody has the extra money. Perfectly fine. But if you if you don't join Patreon, it means you'll still have access to the entire channel, all the videos, uh, everything that I do normally with YouTube. You just won't get those behind the scenes videos um, or those patron only live streams. I hope that makes sense. I know that one time when I did post about it, there was a little bit of confusion. It's just extra. Everything else is free. Uh, that being said, YouTube does run ads on my channel. If you're interested in, I know that a lot of people are upset about the ads. Like I said, I have no control over it. When I put up a video, it is monetized and however they see fit. So if you are interested in going ad free, you can always join YouTube premium, which I'm sure you've been annoyed by that little reminder that pops up all the time. Um, the first month is free, you get a free trial. Uh, and basically that actually pays your creators from that little bit that you spend every month. And we we get more ad revenue technically, and you don't have to watch any more ads. It's awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome. Also, with YouTube Premium, you get the uh, ability to listen to the videos or watch the videos in the background of your phone. So at the moment, if you go, if you just watch YouTube and you're not paying anything for YouTube at all, uh, you know that when you, when you go to a different application on your device, it will stop the video. With YouTube Premium, it will play in the background. That is actually a lifesaver because I am constantly going back and forth and that way I don't get distracted from the video and forget to come back and watch the rest of the video. Happens. The struggle is real. <laughs> so YouTube Premium is an awesome way to support creators as well uh, all over the board um, and you don't have to watch a single ad again. Charlotte Preston asks, can I ask how much is the customs charge on Diamond Art Club parcels? I'm tempted to buy some, but after being stung by customs on another company that I won't name right now, uh, I'm a bit hesitant. So it depends on your country. I have never, in Ireland, I have never been charged customs. I have, however, been charged uh, cash on delivery charges when I buy things expedited. So sometimes I'm charged. Uh, if, if I purchase something from the States and they don't mark down the item price uh, and it goes over a certain amount in my country, I have to pay 23% in tax, which is quite a lot. It's almost a quarter of whatever I paid, uh, which is what happened to me with another company, but they were kind and they refunded that. They do not refund that for everyone. So uh, if you have questions like this about a certain company, I'd highly, highly recommend going forward. Please ask them to those companies directly. Uh, I love to answer questions, but it's much faster. They have a whole customer service team and I just have me. So uh, thank you, Charlotte, for your question. But just for anyone wondering anything else about Diamond Art Club, especially, um, please just contact them on Facebook or Instagram. They're very fast with answering your questions, whereas I am not so fast because it's just me. I hope you can understand, though. Helen Zuidoff uh, asks, can you teach me how to write in English? My English grammar is not perfect. Most of the time it's laziness. Uh, most of the time I'm tired and miss the letter sometimes. Um, I... I am an English ESL teacher by trade. That is the career that I had before I moved to Ireland. But unfortunately, this is not a dime. This is a diamond painting and crafting channel, not an ESL channel. Um, I would I would recommend, though, there are a lot of channels here on YouTube that can help with your English. So if you're looking for more resources on how to how to improve your English, 
There are a lot out there. Just do some searching and some digging and you will find them. But I will not be using my YouTube channel to teach English if that was the question that you were asking. Okay, everybody. So that is me caught up on comments for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this answers more questions. And like I said, uh, check out the links down in the description and up in that eye to see more videos that are related to this topic. Um, I, I am slow at responding to comments, but as I said, <laughs> uh, lately it has been a lot harder for me to keep up with comments. So going forward, I may use this style of answering questions as a sort of a uh, whip and chat every once in a while on my channel, just to get back to you and get back to your questions. Uh, and I hope that you enjoyed it. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, guys.